So, tell me about the boy. Let me see. The first impression I had of Daniel Mooney. After 10 years of supporting, quite frankly, average talents in their mediocre efforts, I was finally rewarded. At last, here was a gift. Daniel's talent would be the envy of the entire art world. He was a genius. He was my treasure. Hi, Miss Chapman. It's all wrong. That's amazing. Why'd you paint it like that? Miss Tracia, Miss. To me, it's just way beyond anything I've ever experienced. It looks extremely disturbed. To me, it's dark. It's dark. It's dark. It's dark. It's dark. It's Evidently, not everyone can recognize such a gift. No. I was forced to be his champion alone. The correspondence to his parents went unanswered, however. I would just have to go and talk to them. certainly see some of the influences that could lead a creative mind into the dark places that Daniel's work inhabited. Quite frankly, I was a little frightened to enter such a place. I was devoted, though. If I had to wade knee-deep in the mire and the dark, so be it. Into the dragon's lair I would go. Hello. I'm, um, I'm, I was wondering if I could speak to the parents or, or the parent of Daniel Mooney. Ma! What do you want? I'm from Daniel's school. I'm his art teacher, actually, Ellen Chapman. You're the one who's been sending all these letters? Yes, I'm trying to explain about... Miss Mooney, I want you to... Miss Mooney. Mrs. Mooney. What are you offering? Money? No. Will you go and find someone else to blow your trumpet for you? Mooney, I want you to understand. You can't trap an artistic talent like Daniel's. It's free. Like the wind. I can't trap it. Danny! Open the cupboard door. I'm sorry, Miss Now! What are you doing? Oh, this is stupid. But you call me stupid. Quite frankly, I think... This was an entirely new experience. I 
simply had to rise to the challenge, though. After all, I couldn't exactly walk away. If a teacher can't protect children, who can? I mean, if a teacher can't protect children, who can? teacher can protect children who can mm. it's like the age of mozart again a true prodigy to bring tired old cynics like me a ray of hope <laughs> well you know how much i respect your opinion i will be buying one or two of these i imagine the prices will be out of my league by your next exhibition yes what is the next exhibition Daniel settled into a new life in my home with surprising ease and comfort. Perhaps this comfort distracted him a little. At first. I was not going to let such a wonderful talent go to waste, however. to be trained by the leading tutors of artistic ability in the land. <clears throat> this process would surely help him to produce... to produce something... Shit. But his talent, his ability. Oh, he can paint. I saw the work he did in your class. But quite frankly, what he's offering me here is... Diluted, representational, fairy tale, commercial, diarrheal shit. We were in trouble. He was in denial. My supposed kindness had let him bury the past. Without the proper help, he would never really deal with the pain that lived inside him. And you know how dangerous that can be. I see you. And how did you help him this time? Well, we sat and talked, and we got in touch with a lot of the issues that had troubled him deeply. I knew he was burying things, important, dreadful things. And as these issues came up, he expressed himself through the oil in the canvas. Actually, we used some of your techniques in opening up the channels to the past. That's why I brought you this. In a way, you helped create it. Why, thank you. I'm truly touched. A measure of my thanks for your wife's book. And nothing to do with my wife's gallery. <laughs> well, frankly, Doctor, you invest me with a little more deceit than I'm capable of. Oh, please don't be offended, Miss Chapman. No, oh, no, it's, uh, it's a beautiful gift. Well, take care of the young genius. He is very valuable. No one knows better than I, Doctor, exactly how valuable that boy is. Please. 